Hi, did you know that with the Studio D23M digital I.O. system, you can route up to 3072 inputs and outputs directly on its backplane? Let's have a look at that. The D23M's backplane is fully passive. All the active parts of the power supply are in the power supply itself. Primary power and secondary power, which is producing 3.3 volts, 5 volts, plus minus 15s, etc. The power supplies are redundant and they are hot swappable. The heart of the D23M is the A-Link HD card. This card is controlling everything. It's doing the routing, it's talking to the I.O. cards, and it's talking to the outside world. It is equipped with two, a main and a redundant A-Link port. Every A-Link port can handle 1,572 channels. The A-Link ports are the connection to, for example, an infinity core of Vista console or to routing systems like Riddle and Everett's routers. The card also has a work lock input, video input and AES. You can have clock redundancy by connecting more than one D23M to an infinity core of a Vista console. You define one frame as the main clock and if this one is failing, the system automatically looks for the next valid clock source. This can be one or several additional D23Ms. The frame has 12 I.O. slots. One slot can handle 128 I.O.s. These slots are fully compatible with all the D21M cards which are available from Studer. Here we have an Ethernet card. And the Ethernet card is linked over the pack plane to the A-Link HD card. The Ethernet card is used to communicate to outside networks if the communication is not going over the A-Link ports. This would be the case if you want to have a Vista console switched off but you still want to control the I.O. Because like I said in the intro, we can route all the 1572 local I.O.s and additionally the 1572 A-Link ports to every destination we want. So an input from an I.O. card can be sent directly onto an output on this frame without actually making a loop over a console and using up slots there. The I.O. slots also have Ethernet connection over the back plane to the A-Link HD card. So if you have an audio over Ethernet card inserted in here, control data can be sent to the A-Link HD card. Well, that was it. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again.